Welcome back. We're going to be starting off, I do believe, Nine Pandas versus uh, Enigma Galaxy. Both teams are looking for a win after going down 0-2 yesterday. So, looking at that, you know, you want to get the wins on the board, and this could actually be a tiebreaker right stay. away. But I think it's it's good, because the hero was so unstable in the past. Like, you either destroyed the game, or you would lose at 10 minutes, because you knew that, like, you were so far <laughs> behind that, that like, you couldn't do anything about it. So, I think it's, it's healthy for the game hmm. that they did it this way. And yeah, yeah. So far, it's gonna be that. Oh, Ramsey! Oh. Does he go down here? He's gonna be able to get the unstable concoction off, but he is gonna go down. Gh. He tried to walk himself away, but he got a little bit too cheeky though. I don't know with the high movement speed, but the uh, the spell range on the Scarth mage as well. You know, it's gonna make it hard for even if he is running away. Scarth's just gonna be able to chase down on the bottom lane as well. Antares and Mero not having the best of times. In fact, solo. solo. He's gonna try and drop the ward. Does he get the damage to get the kill? No, he doesn't, and he actually gets denied to the neutrals. So they're not gonna wow. be able to get the kill here. But stats are, are are a bit worse than they used to be, but I still feel like this is probably more than you would expect. Yeah. Did we go for it? Antares is going to get the kill onto Kuroki now as well. Was that unstable concoction? Did he get to throw it out? It's going to be the self stun, but it comes out onto the Earthshaker as well. GH, he has the kill solo. Is he going to try and get the damage out onto the Earthshaker? That totem's still down. He gets the double kill in the lane. GH is absolutely ruining them at the minute. It just doesn't do that much. Unfortunately, it's just it's not a, a popular here for a reason. on Antares. Ooh, does he get himself away from this? They've already got a kill in this lane now as well. To chase the harass coming out. Yuma, is he going to be able to get himself away from this? One more right click. No, Mero. He picks up the kill. And now Kuroki is going to be able to get it onto Antares. No, the furry fire. It's going to keep him alive here. Can he turn the aggro back onto Kuroki? And Antares burly, burly keeps himself alive. Yo, Alchemist, even with that passive, passive Grievous Greed, um, not really stacking up the gold at the minute. Jace, he's going to get the rotation in. They get the silence off. Can they get the kill onto the stones right now as well? Solo, he's coming in. Do you want to try and drop this ward? There's going to be the Dream Comb coming out here. A lot of damage onto the Storm Spirit, and it looks like Mikey, the Blood Grenade, just get thrown out. Mikey, or oh, Storm Spirit, he's diving in deep. It's going to be a lot of damage onto the perk, but can he get this ward through and get himself away from this one? He dove too far. Icarus, the wings melt. This lane now becomes almost impossible. Uh, that uh, third point in the engine. So scary. Good TP though. Oh. The enchant totem comes out at just the right time. MC though is still gonna be controlled here. Attacker, are they gonna be able to get the kill? There's gonna be another. Ooh, do they get the damage off for the kill? They should do here with this remnant. One more right click and Kyo Attacker picks it up. Speaking of rotations, Kuro's here. Ramses, he's low. Can he get this one out now as well? Ramses, is he gonna be able to get himself away from this one? It's not enough. And Kuro, he does pick up the kill. That's just your standard potato rotation at level four. Very nicely done. Oh, Yuma. That's, a, that's another good pickup now as well. The Dream Call is going to be used here, but which target does he go for? It's going to be the Techies. And Mikey, he gets himself another kill on the floor here. Oh, Kiyotaka. Three heroes. He just has to just use all of that mana to get himself away with the ball lightning. So, I think he, he's fine where he's at, just trying to farm some of those camps, uh, locate the Elk. And Kim Corazon Kuno here, three seconds. Are they going to get him though? Ramses, he's trying to run himself away. The Mystic Flur even oh being thrown God. out in celebration. You can see the Kuroki. What's he going to try and go? He's already got himself the Madang here. Uh, Kyo attacking the Echo Slam comes oh. out. The Mystic Flur. Is this going to be enough damage? It is. Dyer denied their middle tower. Uh, Alchemy Spix coming from Nine Bandit. He just enabled the Shaker to flourish even the off lane as they get the silence. Uh, Dream Call is going to be used now as well. Did they get the kill? There is going to be. Well, there was a drain coming out now, but they are going to be able to take down Mero. And Solo could be in trouble too. He's going to be a fast little piggy though, but he will be able to get himself away. At, like, I know the win probability is 70% or something. I don't think it's going to be that easy. Oh, they're going to try and make a move here for the Scarf Mage. Can they get the kill? The Blast comes in. There is going to be the heal coming through, but they still get the kill now as well. The Mystic Flur was dropped. Dream Call is going to be used. Mero's even going to try and chase onto this one. The Mana Void is going to be used here, but Yuma, he doesn't get enough time to get the kill off. And even Antares, he's going to stay alive. He drops himself one of these mines. Do they get the kill onto the Antimage? Antimage trying to get himself away from us. He dies mid blink here. They do get the kill onto Antares, but it's going to be costly now. Can they get the chase down onto MC? With that unstable concoction coming out, MC's going to try and do what he can with the Enchant Totem now as well. So it will be self stun coming out, but still the chase comes out. They've got the Vortex, they've got the drag back. I'm pretty sure they've got the kill onto MC. MC, no way away from this one. My he jumps in, he's going to try and get the kill onto the Brewmaster. The Brewmaster already used that split, so he is going to be dead for the next 30 seconds. A bit of a bloodbath going on.
I mean, I know it is an alchemist, you know, but he's starting to take over the net worth. Like you say, he's got that radiance going now, so his farming speed um, is going right up. They're going to be able to get the dream call, though. Did he get the kill onto at least the techies here? Rune's gonna, uh, Ward's going to be dropped here, but they don't get the Mystic Flur in time, so Answer is able to dodge it off. And now you've got that Fisher coming up from Mikey. Mikey, the stun, it is going to be there, though. You've got the Fisher coming through. It's not going to save Mikey's life. Yeah, the ping came out there as well because Solo took down the Watcher. So, obviously, Nigma, they lose the vision. The silence comes out. It's going to be the triple silence there over onto the techies. Do they want to carry on going on to this one? Dream Call was used. The jump comes in from Kiyotaka. And it looks like they're going to be able to get aggressive here onto Mikey. Hand of God going to be used early. Can they go for any more out of this? The split does come out. Mikey going to try and get himself away from this one. But the Panda Chasers, they are going to be coming in. And Mikey, he might just be able to get out of this one. Yeah, the aggression comes through. And Hunter has already teeping himself down now. So maybe a bit of a bait and switch to say, oh, the, oh, the aggro's coming up on the top lane. But if you see MC with those wards, in fact, no, Mikey's going to carry on going in. Gets a kill onto Solo. Can he get a revenge kill now as well? The Mystic Flur comes out. Silence here onto the Storms where Aggro's down. And they do get immediate revenge. In fact, they might be able to take down the Panda as well. No split. I think he did his job. He shut down the anti-mage. He will have some scaling because of his Vitus. And really, it is on the Storm and the... Uh, oh my god, that's a solo kill, bro. Their vision here. But yeah, uh, my control is found by his action on the top Ooh. side, inside the edge, which gives up an opening. They're gonna dive underneath this tier 2 tower now as well. Yeah, the unstable concoction comes out. Mikey's gonna be silenced as well on the poke. They get the kill onto Mikey now. Solo takes him down. There's gonna be a really nice fissure along the line. Stun up three or four of those, and now the chase is on. Trying to use the shadow amulet onto GH. GH, can he get himself away from this? And he absolutely cannot. And even if he was in this, he would have just been burnt down by the radius. And now the diving into the base. Echo Slum comes out. Can they get the kill onto Kiyotaka? Kiyotaka, he's not gonna go down just yet. He's even gonna be able to get the vortex out. Can they get the to MC. MC's gonna try to do his best, but they still get it. And Solo picks it up. MC goes down. Ramsey's gets Kuro, and this all of a sudden swings. 39 seconds. Yeah, it's a quick one before Roshan comes back up. And really good timing. Kiyotaki can take some pressure from this. In fact, he might go down. This is not the time that he wants a Yuma. Really good man avoiding stuff like that. It shows the ultimate cooldown, like how much you need for buybacks and stuff. Yeah, that's so cool. They're just being able to throw that onto the screen. But it looks like we might be able to get into a fight now. The Fisher comes across, and onto Mero. He just gets picked up. Yuma, did he just want to retreat from this? He might do Ramsey because he wants to get himself Ramsey's. in. Now he's got that unstable concoction gonna go, but it's gonna be reflected. Oh, the spell shield comes out from the anti mage, and now they're still up onto the alchemist. And did he get enough time to get the kill off? Ramsey has to pop that DKB. He was gonna get pretty down low, but he blinks himself out on this now as well. They get the kill onto the Chen already. MC's gonna be the next target. GH, he gets low. Glimmer Kid won't keep him alive. Mero with the double kill. Can he go for any more on this one? Reverse drain coming out, so you've got that unstuck coming out onto Ramsey's. Very interesting take that Nine Pandas has. I love it actually. Look at this. To, no, they keep that radiant pitch gap. Oh. And now they're going to be able to make the jump onto Antares. Antares is going to get low. Does he go down though? No sentry to reveal through the Glimmer Cave. Yuma, he wants to jump in on this. Is he going to be able to get the kills? It's going to be the Dream Call coming out now as well. They get the cleanup onto Solo. Is it going to be Antares there as well? And Kiyotaka using the last of his mana to get away, but MC wants to come in. Ooh, that Fisher. He was mid cast, it seems like. Hand of God's going to be used back lines. So Ramsey's going to be able to get the kill on GH. Does he just want to go 1 versus 5 here? Ramsey's, I know he's powerful, but is he that powerful? And now you get the split coming in from the Panda Burr. It looks like MC, he's going to be off the mark there with the Enchant Totem jumping now as well. Yuma, he reflects back the ball. The BKB forced out from MC. And MC trying to get himself away from this one. Mind Control just on the run. Yeah. Interesting target prioritization by Ramsey going in the end phase. He's going to be a this hero, but oh, they do get MC <laughs> there. He's really the only team fighting hero that they have. It's so much weight on uh, Mind Control's shoulders to really keep the in fight. Yeah, and it's going to be jumping again. Glimmer Cape comes out. GH is going to be fine. Nullify gets used though. The Mystic Flood. Do we have the damage on the Kiyotaka? Kiyotaka pops up BKB. Going to try and get himself away from this one. And now Ramsey's the last one to leave the base. But Yuma wants to jump in. Gets the Mana Void off. Kills out Solo. But it puts him into No Man's Land here now. So yeah, they have the control. Lincoln's face being broken. They've got the reveal as well on the Glimmer Cape. They have the control. They have the kill. And Yuma. That is just not where he wants it to be now. Can they get anything from this one? Because he did get the kill on to Mero before he went down. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, the deed work a little bit for the power work. Oh, he's giving the bad man, can he get the control off now as well? The last one comes through, they're gonna have some control, but Manstyle gets popped. Yuma, he will be able to get the blink away. The dive comes through, Mind Control doing a lot of damage now as well. Efficient for the control. 
the mind control. What's he going to be able to do? Gets killed solo once again. GH, he does. He just gets cleaned up by Ramses. Ramses comes in with a one two punch, or the one two blades at least. And now they've got to control the vortex drag back here onto mind control. Do we have enough for this kill? He's got that cheese, so he's going to be T. Is he going to be TP? And it's not. He's going to be controlled out. He's going to be killed off the really nice one with that one. And the jump away Yuma, he's trying to get himself in, out, in, out, shaking it all about here. But the hokey pokey's not going to help him out here as Yuma. He wants to go for more. Mero can he get himself away from this one. He's already used that split. Looking to get that run off. No blink dagger though, so he's just going to do it off. And Mero, yeah, the bash comes out. Mero's going to be controlled. He is going to be killed. <laughs> you have E-Blade, Revenant's Brooch into that mana void. The possible damage output is insane. They are able to execute oh. a combo. They find him. He's on. They get him. He's dead. He's got no buyback now as well. The jump comes in. He's going to be the dream code coming through. But blast off to be able to control to take down the Santa Mage. Santa Mage this well. time. He's not going to be able to get himself away from this one. So it's a one for one trade. Solo on the back lines now as well. Mind control of that BKB. It will be wearing off. They take him down too. Do they want to go for any more? Do they have the reveal as well? Kuroki, the nullifier will be on him. Fisher comes out with the jump in. They've got the back. They've got the control. They take down Kuro. And he looks at this fight. Mind control trying to do his best. Jump around left, right, and center. Mind control. Ramsey's going to try and chase him down. But he's got that pogo stick going. And he's hopping himself away from this one as well. The panda split, it's going to be wearing off now as well. They have that onto GH. Do we have enough time to get the kill now? As they've got, uh, excuse me, man control in the tornado. But GH, it looks like he might just be able to get himself away from this one. They do finally get the kill onto Antares as well. The back lines and the jump in the control, the stun off to the Ramses. And Ramses, well, did he just want to leave this one? Yeah, he's going to go for that TP in the trees. I think the Enigma heroes do have a little bit more room for that. Yeah, look at this as well. Big smoke wrap around. They're going to try and go on to Mero now as well. They get the sounds off. Do they have the control onto him? Mero He's going to go for the split. Echo. The echo slam on the back lines, but it's going to be the missing flirt. Four step away from that one. And a big jump in. They've got that, the Vortex coming out. Hand of God will be used here. And Storm Spirit going to get low as well. Yuma just cleans him up like he was nothing. Yuma, though, the bash comes out. No. He's going to be able to get the blink away here. So, damage onto. I mean, Kuro's going to try and get up, but it's going to be forced right back in by these Panda Birds on the split. You get the kill onto Solo. Can they go? for more here. Yuma's going to be spotted up, but again, spell reflection from the spell shield, and Ramsey's just cannot stick to this anti-mage here. He's got a lot of escape built in. MC going to be able to dive himself away once again on that pogo stick, and it's going to be two heroes dead. No buybacks on the side of nine pandas, so once again, this Aegis might just go the way of NGX. Um, Antares does actually have the Hex. It's just that oh. he gets put under so much pressure from, uh, you know, when the fight starts off, you know, being focused down by Mikey. Hello. And speaking of, they're going to be able to get another jump in. The Mystic Flirt comes out. Echo Slam as well. Kyo Taki gets the PKB, but Yuma with right click. And of God's going to be there. Can he get enough damage to get this kill off? And Ramses, he's going to get really darn low. No health, no mana left. They take down the big man himself. He's gone for 100 seconds. And I think this is where NGX, they're just going to be able to march himself down. And even Mero with the split. Does he get himself away from this one? Those pandas there, they're using the, you know, they're running the little feet away. But I think NGX now, they have the control with the death of the Alchemist. They're going to be able to go for tier 2s, probably even try and break a, a Rax here as well. Amero, uh, does he have a way out of this one? No, the control comes out from MC, and it looks at like the damage. It might just be enough. I mean, he hadn't lost any mana though, so the mana void wasn't effective. But he still get the kill anyway. Like, a lot of those echoes, it just they look a little bit underwhelming because it's a one or a two man echo slam. But it's, it's all they need. Look for another tier two tower. There'll still be a tier two tower on the top lane, but yeah, they're just having to take objectives. They've got this Aegis. So, oh, the Hex does come through actually onto Mind Control. Can they do the damage onto this one? Where's that jump in? It actually jumps up to the back lines here around. He's got the jump onto uh, excuse me, Kuroki. He still gets the kill. And what can he do now? Yuma, he's going to be able to get the blink away. Again, still has the Aegis for a minute and a half. So do they want to try and take advantage of that, even with the Chen being down? Because it looks like Nine Pandas, they are up for a fight. I mean, that's the scary part. When you don't have BKB on the Alchemist, who is going to scale there? Uh, maybe it has to be the Stackies. Yeah, they're going to be able to get the jump in. They do just straight up delete him now. And Ramses is gone. They have the control with the Fisher Dream Call comes out. The techies. There is going to be a lot of damage coming through. They take down Solo. Can they go for any more? The blast upon the techies. But, I mean, if he's not, he doesn't even make it back to that fountain. Three heroes dead already. And I think in the galaxy, they're just going to say this is our base now. It's going to be a big vortex back in. But no real follow-up from this. And yeah, the Fisher actually gets the stuns off before Antares can get the blast off. And... This is going to be the cleanup, I think, for NGX. Yuma looking really strong. Finally, you know, he did make a great comeback. The buyback's not there from the, the Alchemist from Solo as well. And Nero, silenced up. Anti-Mage Illusion doing some damage. The Mystic Flirt comes out. Not actually going to connect onto anybody, but it's going to be the Abyssal Blade here. All onto Kyo Taka. Kyo Taka pops the BKB. Got that control. But they're just trying to buy time as the base, it will be pushed in. Even the Creep's just doing a little bit of damage now as well. You've got those neutrals coming in from the Chen. And it's just going to be bye-bye base, it looks like. 
you know, some questionable picks like this Pugna uh, first pick on the Storm. But, you know, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. This is still uh, a pretty convincing performance from Enigma. We're gonna be able to make another dive onto Solo now as well. Solo, he's got A in this. He's gonna be forced to go to the high ground and we get a good Vortex onto two of them. Ramsey's actually gets to do it though. Mystic Blood comes out with the BKBs on there. Do they get the kill? They take down Human and MC. Mike is gonna go down. That is a big turnaround here. Kroki. Four staff comes out. He's gonna try for that TP. Was that fall or anything like that? It's gonna be the tornado now immediately cancelled off. And we were right in the eulogy, but all of a sudden, nine pandas with one good fight. So I'm not even sure you commit for the Yuma. I mean, you just give up a couple of uh, Rex here anyway. Yeah, they're gonna try and even this one up. They've got the control now as well. Jace, you're gonna have his own DNA. He's gonna get low with the nullifier coming out. They have the control. Yuma, he's using his own BKB. That's gonna be the mana void coming through as well into Ramsey's. Do they just need to get themselves away from this one? Mikey wants to chase Ramsey's. Might be the sacrificial lamb. Just letting the rest of his team get out alive. But they do take at least one lane of Rax here to jump out. Solo, he has that glimmer cape. He's gonna be able to get himself into the trees. Doesn't have that TP for 20 seconds. Walks himself right back in. But the perk, he jumps over him. He doesn't see the body block coming out. Solo in the trees. He's gonna wait 12 seconds for that TP. They are hunting him, but it looks like Solo. He's finding himself a nice quiet corner to park himself in here. Not going to be pressured out. And Kiyotaka already back on the top lane. You've got Mero on that split. He should get back safely. He's got the timing on the pandas now as well. So they take down. He's going to pressure out the tier fours. I think it was like a 96, 97% chance in England's favor. Right back down to about 56, 57%. And now, Red Light. They really do get the jump onto Ramsey, though. Do they have the control to get the kill off? He does have the fireback if he needs it. He pops that BKB. Does he have anything to get himself? I mean, he's going to be healing up here with the chemical rage going. They have that control as well onto the Anti Mage. But again, Anti Mage has this Aegis. How do you get to pop it? He pop it once. Now, can they get the kill onto Mikey? Kuro trying to get himself away from this one as well. In that Glimmer Cape, Mikey on the back lines. Trying to do what he can. Yuma comes back with the Aegis, but it looks like they're going to go for the retreat now as well. MC being controlled by that tornado. Nero. Oh, he's going to be able to take down Kuroki. Kuroki's dead for 100 seconds. And now they're chasing on to GH. GH can he get himself away from this one. The Glim Cape Yuma on the back lines jumping in. You've got the jump in from MC as well. But Mero, he comes back together. I mean, this, this is good enough, I think. You take the ages out. They don't have the numbers advantage. Are you going anyway, Stigma? Uh, and MC, yeah, he's on the front lines now as well. He pops up BKB. The Echo Slam comes up. Solo's going to be again. The force for now as well. They do do the damage. And it looks like the dive comes in from Antares. Doesn't connect up to Yuma. And Yuma had that BKB going now as well. MC. Ramsey's trying to do what he can. He's going to be out of mana now as well. The Fidget Control comes through. He doesn't have that BKB. The damage is going to be there. Kiyotaka tries to get that dive and they take down Ramsey's. Ramsey, if he wants to sell that fiber, but he looks like he might be able to get it. And MC, no! He gets himself up a second on the, um, the Echo Slam coming through. So they take down a couple of them. But Yuma, he's going to pay the price. Yuma's dead for 124 seconds. And now they're going to be able to clean up. Mikey, he might be able to get himself away from this one. It's a big commit with all the buybacks on the side of Nine Pandas, and they might just look to end this game here with no AM for 115 seconds. And now we're only alive. I don't know how you defend this from the owner. Yeah, Mikey wants to come in. He's going to try and do his best. There's going to be the buyback from Jake now as well. Ramsey, so he just wants to be hitting these towers. He's got the damage coming through. It's going to be the double Mystic Blur. But the damage, do they have the control onto Mikey? Mikey is going to be Kuro back alive here with the Hand of God. They're just trying to win the game. Yeah, they're just going to say, we're not even going to wait for the Anti-Mage. And we're, they're going to ignore the aggro coming up from Mikey. And Lion Pandas, a game of snakes and ladders, swings and roundabouts. And another simile that I can't think of at the top of my head. Nine Pandas, in the end, will be able to take it at what? 56 minutes in. Ramsey's a couple more right clicks might be able to get it off but the magic missile just come out MC does he get the damage off now as well GH he does he picks up the first blood it might cost him his life here MC gets the trade off but Ramsey's he picks up the first blood situations this is worse because you're having to burn through the regen you know and uh, they're gonna come in with the onslaught I think it's gonna be the rotation coming in now as well the storm hammer comes through but there's that trample damage you get the kill onto human they might be able to get a kill onto Kuroki now as well it's a three versus one and Kuroki underneath the tier one tower even the tier one tower is not helping him out you know if he has a good game 11 minutes, 12 minutes probably, and that is a window of 6 minutes that might can be a oh, great echo, holy shit. Big echo there, yeah, as the silence comes out, they're going to be able to control onto Mikey, Mikey, silence was off, was that fish, he doesn't have it skilled up, he's not going to be able to block the path, Mikey's still going to be slowed down here though, there's going to be Antares trying to chase him down, has that shield crash, was that enchant totem, Antares? Mikey's gonna be able to get himself away. The spell goes the wrong way. And it looks like Kuroki he just took all of that aggro here. It might cost him his life, but it means that he keeps Mikey alive. 
Well, the god strength as well. If he only gets one camp out of this one, it's what, 110 seconds on the cooldown. Close to that. So, Miro, jump comes in. The Stormhammer oh. stops him in his tracks, though. Does he close the gap? He gets the Pulverives off with the Mystic Flare as well. And that's still going to be the death of Yuma. Mikey rotates in. He's going to be able to clean up anything from this. Jade's going to back him up now as all well. the sands comes through. Magic Missile connects. He might be able to get the kill with the Earth Splitter. It's going to dissuade them from going for an answer. So, going close to answer us for the minute. GH still gets this kill. Was that chase down? Up is going to be used. Maybe the damage coming out now as well. GH was the onslaught. They get the damage out. One more right click, and Miro finishes off the kill as still Kyo Taka solo kills on Kuroki. Yeah, those wisdom rooms being taken away from him really hurt him for the initial output that he does have. Ramses, Ramses. He's low. Rolling Thunder comes in. They're going to have to clean up Mikey. Yeah, just one Rolling Thunder into the shield crash. Had the damage to get the kill. It's time to assist the other players to get kills. And now time for a fight mid here. Yeah, A Blast is available. So honestly, considering the, the wisdom rooms got stolen, and the Enigma X lost both side lanes. The levels of the supports are fine. Oh, yeah. Mikey did miss the swashbuckle <laughs> there. It's probably a kill. Trying to take the answer us though, yeah. But yeah, there's going to be the jump in. The onslaught of the fishy connects oh, once he gets again. Into uh, excuse me. What canceled the pulverize though? Uh, I guess he canceled. Maybe he canceled. Like just uh, didn't realize that he was. Ca I, I I did that a, a lot as well. Like sometimes you don't think. You cast it and it's already. Uh, I mean, you got the idea. Yeah. They get the tower. That Yasha is very pink. Does he plan to go Manta eventually here? Or maybe just solo? Yeah, maybe. This time they are going to be able to get the pick up on the LC, so no way to cancel it now. Echo. The Echo Slam on the back lines. They're going to be able to get one, but it is going to be a trade off the solo. Can they get this kill onto MC? The fish is down now as well. They've got the trample damage coming out. MC is going to be chased down by that homing missile, so they do get the kill. Some vision out, but the smoke is coming out. Four of the five heroes on the side of NGX are smoked up. They might even find the Scarath here. Yeah. hammer comes out. They've got the control. There's going to be a really nice swash. Book. Echo Slam though on the back oh. lines. Was it a bait in the end? Did they turn this one around? The duel comes out, and they might be able to get the kill. They do get the duel victory here. Earthshaker is going to go down. GH is going to be chased down. Full Whip slows him down as well. It looks like they might be able to get the damage, but the Stormhammer is going to stop him in his tracks. GH, he's still going to go down here. Ramsey's picked up the kill. Yeah, and he's not too far off his own BKB there as well. Mikey uh, rotates him around. Diffuser Blade. Manta Styles out. The jump comes in. They catch oh, the right oh. one. The Pulverize. The Mystic Flur comes out. Absolutely no way. But the duel comes in after the fact. Do they have enough damage to get the kill? Well, with the Ice Blast, the Storm Armor, the God Strength, they clean up. They throw everything in the kitchen sink there at the Primal Beast. But they do get the kill. And now what can they do on the back lines? They might even be able to find out Kyo Taka. Echo Slam comes through. They're going to be able to queue that up with the Split Earth. Jump comes through. Do they get the kill onto MC? And then Kyo Taka's still alive. But what the absolute hell just happened there? They clean up everybody. They're going to see four heroes, oh, though. Man, they're all behind these wards. Yeah, is Miro oh, acting as get bait? bait? Yeah, it's going to be the jump in. The Lincoln Sphere breaks until he gets the BKB. There's the duel. Ice Blast oh, comes in. Primal? Are they going to be able to get the damage off to him? They do get the kill. They get the duel victory as well on the Primal Beast. But Ramsey's coming in with the right clicks now as well. Yuma trying to chase him down. He doesn't have that life steal. Doesn't have anything oh. to control it. There's going to be a really nice Echo Slam. He gets the kill after the fact there as well. But Yuma did get the kill onto Ramsey's. And now, can they go for any more? They're going to be able to take down GH. It's going to be a two for two backline. And it looks like they might be able to get the clean up onto mind control there. So a three for two. Taking some of these fights as, yeah, they know exactly what's happening. They scout the smoke perfectly. Ooh. Are they going to try and jump? There's going to be a really nice second onto MC, but MC gets it off his BKB now as well. The duel comes through. They get the kill onto Kyo Taka, and Mero is going to go down in the back lines. And it looks like Yuma, he wants to carry on chasing Ramsey's. Got that Lincoln Sphere on him, but he's popping his own BKB. Rolling Thunder coming through. Looks like they might just give up the ghost here on Ramsey's. Uh, let him fly at, to live another day. But they got two big pickoffs. In fact, it might not be done just yet. Solo being caught out. Trying to use the runaway through the barrier. It looks like the jump. It's not going to be able to connect. Ice Blast going to be off the mark here. Ramses comes back in. But you're fighting into five heroes here. And Answeras gets to kill into GH on the back lines. He does have a TP in two seconds. He's just going to find a place to hide himself so he can get that off. Enigma Galaxy, they're starting to group up outside though. Mero Solo, Antares are looking. Ice Blast, it might connect. That's only an illusion now as well. They're going to be able to get into this, Sven. He gets to jump in, but Ramses, he still gets that Aegis. Ramses, he might lose this one straight away. The Earth Splitter comes out. The BKBs are out there for Yuma. So the damage coming through. Do they have the damage to take down the LC? The Mystic Flow doing a lot of it, but not enough to finish the kill. Jump comes in. Kyo Taka finishes it off. Aegis. What's that use? It looks like it solo goes down there as well. They've got the Fisher now onto Kuroki. Kuroki's going to try and get himself away, but Yuma's already back to base. Kuroki trying to TP. Not going to happen. Kiyotaka has the damage. It means that Nine Pandas, they are free to get a lane of barracks here. At least there's a tier 2 in the mid lane. Yeah. But uh, that's a big structural oh. damage. Kiyotaka on the top lane. Losing. 
He's on top of Yuma. Yuma is going to try and get himself away from this one with the Silver Edge. He don't have any... Oh, no, he's got a gem. Kiyotaka's got a gem. He's going to be able to chase him down here. He might have been uh, a trap, though. He's alone, though. <laughs> yeah, Mikey's setting up, but he's a big tanky boy here. The Earthshaker got a Silver Edge of his own and will be able to just walk himself away from this. Take a fight before they even attempt to go for the Tier 2, but... Uh... Oh, mistake. Oh, my God. It comes in. He's got his BKB. There is going to be the Storm Hammer coming through, though, though. Chase is out, and it's going to be the BKB down now for Mind Control to chase out Yuma. So they want to go for more of this mirror where you just push him forwards here. There's going to be that homing missile onto the Sven. Stomp comes out, puts him to sleep. GH with a swap there. Going to keep the Sven safe for a little bit longer. Can they go for more as the sleep does wear off? But again, there is a gem on the deck. Doesn't look like Kiyotaka was close enough to get the reveal because he is in the mid lane. Looking for the kill onto Mikey with the Echo Slam. Enchant Totem right click. And he will take down that Pangolia. Link is here. actually breaks the Storm Hammer. So they're not going to be able to get the control that with the Ice Blast. Still with that Cold Feet prop coming out from the AA. It's not going to keep Mind Control alive. They jump into the base. Tier 2 be damned. They want to go high ground here and get those kills. He's just going to run himself away from this one, so should be able to clean it up before it gets to the Sven. But it's just having that threat of control onto Yuma. The Yuma has to run away with all good enchant totes and Mystic Flood comes out. GH, it doesn't get the kill, but it is going to force him right back into the fountain here. They still don't have Mikey for another eight seconds, and it looks like the damage isn't going to be enough to get the kill here. Ramsey's moving himself away. Pops that BKB. Sven could be silenced up. He doesn't have his own BKB, so just has to move himself away. Yeah, we see, I mean, Kuro's just out in the open here, Yuma, and could be a bait after some comes through, all those creeps as well, grouping up, and... Yeah. I'm not sure what the play was there, maybe they didn't expect him to react so fast, and now, they're gonna try and get a good duo, they break the Lincolns. Yeah, they're gonna be able to get the kill there as well, the Ice Blast doing a lot of work, and it looks like they might be able to follow up even more here on the Primal Beast. They get that one, Rolling Thunder's gonna come out, but buyback from Yuma, this oh, might be a soul CP. big one, and everybody else, yeah. Yeah, and you can see that. I mean, yeah, you are right. They might should be able to make a move on some mind control now. Kuroki, does he actually want to try and turn this one around? Maybe get the door to answer us. He doesn't know what's backing him up because Ramsey's going to be coming in now as well. The door actually comes through. Are they going to give it to the Scarath Mage? It's going to be the Scarath oh Mage my. victory. And I suppose out of all the heroes, if you're going to give it to somebody, it's best to give it to the Scarath. <laughs> 38 damage, 38 though. damage. <laughs> <laughs> Yuma cleans up with one good right click here. He's got that backstab coming through. He has no buyback though. Yeah, he's gonna be really careful. The buyback, uh, excuse me, the BKB comes out from Ramsey as well. Solo, Solo taking a lot of punishment from the right clicks from Yuma. Earth Splitter, it doesn't really matter now. Mikey trying to get away with the Rolling Thunder. Ramsey's BKB has Vision. worn off, but he's got that Invis coming out now as well. MC, he's right back into this one. He's got that buyback. Do they have enough time to get the kill onto Ramsey? Ramsey, he will go down. Mero gonna get involved here, but it might have been another big mistake here from Mero. So just trying to do what he can to Yuma. This could be the Lincoln Sphere being broken now as well, but Mero. He's just caught out four or five heroes. The Echo Slam comes through. But do they have the ability to finish this one? He's going to be able to get the kill onto Kuro. Um, Kuro. But yeah, the duel is going to be refreshed now. Both have BKBs with a right click coming through from Yuma. That's going to be a duel victory this time going the way of MC. You know, shades of okay. last game where they were able to just force out those buybacks. The Ice Blast is going to come through now. Jump in oh Yuma. God. He's going to be able to cleave them out. There's going to be jumping from Mero now, but they've already got the kill. It's going to be the, the buyback being forced out from Taka. And this is going to be, yeah, the pickup from Yuma. So it's going to be the buyback, but it doesn't really matter if he has that second life anyway. Can they control him out? Can they at least force this Aegis? Did he get the kill into Mero now as well? And might be forcing some buybacks from the side of. Will be forcing some buybacks from the side of Nine Pandas. Mikey leading the line. Look at the kill onto Solo. Echo Slam comes out. Solo is not even going to be dead just yet. Really good Fisher onto all three heroes. Can they clean it up though? They take down GH. Byrax coming through left, right, and center. Yuma trying to run himself away from this one. He has that Aegis. He can't go down here because he has no buyback, but they do pop it. And now Kuro, he is going to be next on the chopping block. Mikey going to try and TP himself in, help out his carry now as well. The Fisher control comes through. Yuma, do you want to try and go for this one? Because it could be a lot of control. The damage coming out of the swap again from the Ventual Spirit, and Yuma's trying to get himself away, but everybody's just stacking the damage up. He's Jeez. that cheese now as well. Everything to keep Yuma alive, and I don't know if it's going to be enough here. The Enchant Totem comes in. Yuma with no BKB. They clean up absolutely everybody, and Mikey, if he dies here, again, he's used his buyback just to try and save his carry. Such a good fight, taking from Mikey, but they forced Nine Pandas into the pit by wasting the Rolling Thunder, and they s made sure to save the A-Blast. They get Vision with it, and now a huge initiation from Sven, but now no buyback, as we said. The fact that Yuma was forced to buy back in that very costly for Nygma, and it could probably mean that this is the game. Yeah, they, they're gonna go they were very close there. For tier 4 here. Mikey jumps in to try and do what he can. He's just gonna be immediately hexed up. The Echo Slam even gonna be committed. And I think we're gonna be seeing GG. <laughs> the fortification comes out. Um, you've got 14 seconds until Mind Control's back. But after that, it's 40 seconds until the Ventral Spirit's back. It's 60 seconds until the Sven's back. And they're just gonna see it out for as long as possible. Ramsey's, he's, he's, <laughs> he's feeling himself. He's dropping the items. He, you know, he's dropping the trees. And uh, he's just gonna be able to help clean up onto this one. MC comes in, but the pull 
Vaporize is going to be there. They have the control. They're probably going to get this kill onto MC even in the fountain. And how is that for Manners as they do clean up game number two? Get themselves all three points on the board.